The U.S. economy added just 12,000 jobs in October, impacted by hurricanes, Boeing strike. Now, this is rounded down or, or re, re or adjusted from 100,000. So less than, it, it's just a little bit more than 10% of what they initially estimated. And it is coming out right before the election. Um, I mean, I'm a little surprised that it came out when it did, but then again, it is Friday, and what time? What time did the exactly. story come they out? They want it to be. Yeah. They, they don't want this to catch on. It came out this morning. Okay, so I'm surprised they didn't wait till five. Mm. I kind of feel the same way. Yeah. But uh, I don't know the last time that there was a revision up. So uh, <laughs> job creation in October slowed to its weakest pace since late 2020 as the impacts of storms in the southeast and a significant labor impasse dented the employment picture. Non-farm payrolls incre increased by 12,000 for the month, down sharply from September and below the Dow Jones estimate for one of 100,000, the Bureau of Labor Statistics reported Friday. In what had already been expected to be a downbeat report, October posted the smallest gain since December 2020. 20. Remember what December 2020 was. I mean, we were in the throes of COVID. Um, this doesn't speak well for uh, the next six months, the, the, or what the next administration is walking into. So I, personally, I don't have a lot of faith in the left's economic plans. Uh, they've, they've proven to be less than stellar in the past four years. I, I would like to see Donald Trump... Or I would, and not even that I think Donald Trump is the guy that's actually writing the the economic plans for the the U.S. If he were to be the president, but I would like to see conservatives because because conservatives uh, economic plans tend to be uh, more successful. Um, they don't need they don't need to talk about what they're going to do for the economy because the economy is great. You didn't have you not right, listened right, to yeah. Don I Lemon? I keep hearing that consistently. Yeah, Don Lemon said it like, uh, "What do you mean the economy is bad? What do you mean grocery prices are affordable? What yeah, you you must be it's stupid." The difference between being a grower or a shower. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the great thing about the I love Chrissy Mayer and Shame. <laughs> the, the, the great the thing time. about the economy is that um, you know when it's doing well, you have to tell everyone that it's doing well, or they won't notice. Because yeah. mm -hmm. none of us, none of us can. I watch the news every day to try to figure out whether the economy is good because I can't tell based on my day to day life. I'm like, you can tell at the grocery store, really. I'm like, is this good? Is is it harder to afford things? Is it easier to make money? I'm like, am I broke? Yeah, am I broke right now? Well, I thought, I thought, I thought I was, and then I, you know, Don Lemon told me everything's great. <laughs> and it'll be worse too because historically we know that when presidents enter office now, there's usually an insane amount of executive orders that get put into play. Yep. Certainly, the killing of the pipeline after the last one, stopping of funding for the border wall, it will only clamp down and get worse. But the biggest uh, the thing that's funniest about this is they're like, vote for economic change by voting for Kamala Harris. Yeah. And then you're like, yeah. but like, she's already in awe. I mean, I know she's not the president, but like, they're already there. They're like, don't think about it. Just do it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not entirely convinced that the uh, new administration would have significantly different economic policies. To well, guys, Mark Cuban thinks you should vote for her, so it must guys, be a good she idea. Brings Mark Cuban her own like experiences a, to the job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. I mean, well, I mean, she's only been, uh, you know, Attorney General of California and a senator, right? That's those have been her jobs. I don't know that she's done anything. She's never created a. She job. worked at McDonald's. <laughs> Allegedly, no, <hold> on. <laughs> Wait, that, that picture. Actually? That picture was, was photoshopped. It, okay. it was photoshopped. I believe yeah. it was a, a woman who had died. Yeah, it's a yeah, sad story. When you actually yeah. read the story, it's so, it's heartbreaking. Really Not a good lady. Yeah. I Office mean, all her nurse. jobs are hand jobs. <laughs> 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 yes. Um, so I I I think that because of the things that she has said in the past now i know that she's walked all of her positions back she said that i don't support this i don't support that i don't support this all of these positions these economic positions that she had been endorsing in 2019 when she was running for president of, of her on her own ticket um all of these terrible economy destroying positions she's walked them back but i i imagine that were she to get into office there would be at least some kind of policies that resemble those because I don't believe for a second that she actually has pro-growth policy. The, the, the uh, what is it, the opportunity economy that she's talking about? She's not talking about, you know, 
making pol- or policy that's actually going to make it easier for the job producers to produce jobs. And as much as the left hates to hear it, the people that make jobs, they're the millionaires and billionaires. So if you have millionaires, if you if you have a policy that's attacking millionaires and billionaires, those people are going to tighten their 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 belt and they're going to make cuts or they're going to not hire people, they're going to not invest because the government's coming after their profit margins. So if the profit margin gets smaller, they're not going to be hiring people and that will that means that there will not be new jobs for for people that are looking for, you know, entry level positions or or what have you. Well, look what happened in California. If you want to look for a, a model that's similar that would run similar at the national scale, when they implemented the wage increase for fast food workers in California, yep. and they immediately say, "Oh, we're going to automate this. We're going to automate that. We're going to fire as many people as we can." They never understand that you have to look to the way these states are run. If you want a look, at least a, a, a shadow of a look of what it will look like on the national level. Now, obviously, it wouldn't be implemented further. But the thing is, what's odd is the. Clo- closer you get to election, the less you should believe most of the policies that they start pushing because they're starting to get desperate. Yep. Uh, I mean, look, they're campaigning for white dudes again. There's white dudes for Harris, right? They're talking about deporting well, people. They've ignored, they've ignored white dudes for the last, you know, 10 years, but yeah. suddenly they need to win an election. They don't have a white guy they, running, which ought to be. How is she going to have money for all this? How is she going to have money for, like, ch- you know, trans inmates to grow a penis on their arm while they're in jail? Well, how is she going to have money for, like, giving black guys they get a special crypto yeah they get crypto, <laughs> crypto and the new homeowners get like and we still haven't d- did biden uh pay back at, like everybody's loans no for college that yeah. never happened it's it's just the the level of pandering on that was so weird i had never i had never in my entire time on this planet in my entire time paying attention to politics i never heard anyone say the primary issue for me is ensuring that black men have their crypto protected. I never I heard mean, anyone say that. If they're going to have ever. crypto, they should also have blood toe for the other gang. <laughs> <laughs> Both gangs. But it's like we we never at any point in time heard like there were there, it's not like black people are coming together and be like we need like where was the systemic racism in crypto? This is not a thing. <laughs> this is not a thing. But the um the campaign is just trying to promise as you said. They're they're just trying to promise people whatever they think get them to vote it almost seems like she knows she's gonna lose like this is a campaign that a candidate would run just to keep up with the appearances yeah. everything that well the lack of what she says at all these speeches and podcast appearances she's doing right everything's i'm from a middle class family like she's kind of just appeasing the donors the, it almost seems like she is doesn't think she can do it the thing that she has that seems to be the most compelling um is abortion yeah she wants to let the women kill their babies uh, yeah and and even that she has to lie about because the federal government isn't going to be doing anything. This is not on the ballot at all? No, well, not only that, but the federal government, I mean, the Supreme Court said that the federal government can't make a nationwide law about it, that it has to go to state. So it's so disgusting the way she, she'll frame it in a rally. And she'll be like, this is about, you know, you get to plan your family the way you want. You need to have the freedom. I'm like, you're talking about abortion. Yeah, you're not you're talking about planning a family. The opposite. Yeah, you're talking about family. killing a baby. Yeah. You know? oh, I've literally, th- there's this page, Kamala HQ. Have you mm-hmm. seen it? Yeah. And they will just post flagrant misinformation just constantly. They will just like make things up. And they had a, a line where it was, I, I can't remember if it was JD Vance. And, and, and to be fair, it might have been an adjacent account, another one of these left wing accounts. But they were talking about how Republicans are going to try to track women's menstrual cycles God, and have yes. a database, which is the most. All right. He, there, here, there's an easy way of determining what life in America is going to start to look like since Roe v. Wade was over, was overturned. And that is the 200 years of American history prior to Roe being decided. Look, Seamus, like, if you they want, were tracking women's menstrual cycles want, in 1972 and earlier. If you maybe, want a red wave, you have to track oh. our menstrual cycles. <laughs> maybe they're just trying to help them out. They're like, look, if you can pay attention to the women in your life, if you need to know when your wife is going to be upset, you got to track the menstrual cycle. They're just trying to help. Like, I don't need to track it. I can tell when she's being a see you next Tuesday. She's eating a bunch of ice cream again. I'm screwed. Yeah. It's it's just so creepy. And it's like they're going to have a pregnancy database to determine if they are going to throw you in jail for a miscarriage. It's like, shut up. You're lying. You're lying. Nobody. But I, I shouldn't say nobody believes it because some handful of people actually think that will happen. A lot of people. Dude, here's a story. I, th- there's a story 
that was circulating on X the other day. And I have I to just, interject. A lot I of people believe it because they want to believe it. Exactly. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. But th there was, sorry. I, no, I don't want to dead name uh, oh. X. Yeah. <laughs> but so, so there was a story that was circulating around X that you could tell some lefty wanted to stick, right? He really wanted it to become a story. And it was about this woman in Arizona who had the police knock on her door because she had a miscarriage and they arrested her. And so I was like, oh, interesting. So let me read this article and the article surrounding it. What had happened was this woman, according to the police officer who arrested her, the police officer who arrested her believed that the child was born alive and then the woman killed it and hid the body. But regardless of whether that happened, because the investigation didn't prove that that happened or not, but what they said was this woman was smoking meth while pregnant. She was past the point of viability. The autopsy showed that the unborn child was between 28 and 32 weeks, which if you want to look at what a 28 to 32 week old unborn child full looks like, they, it's a full blown baby at that point. It really is. They've, they survive outside of the womb uh, at that point. Yep. And... And uh, also, the icing on the cake, it happened in 2018 before Roe was overturned yep. that this woman got arrested. So the whole story was just nonsense. And you hear this all the time. Almost every single time there's a story in the media about a woman being investigated for a miscarriage. It's like they found a dumpster baby. They literally found a dead baby. And then they have to investigate to determine, was this a stillbirth or did this woman give birth to a live baby and then kill it? But the police do not investigate miscarriages. It's complete insanity. Yeah. They just, But they will just make things up. Yeah, uh, I, I, I feel like people that are at least center right or to the right uh, are are very aware of that. Um, I think the difficulty is convincing the average person, the the average person that doesn't have a significant news diet, convincing them that that's the case. Because again, I go back to Michael Malice's statement, trying to convince someone that the weatherman's lying to you. Well, Kamala's got such a huge base of college educated female voters it's like she's preaching to the choir with that it's like oh you don't want to be tied down with a pregnancy do you you've got a lot of brunches left in you ladies <laughs> well or all the celebrities who talk about i wouldn't have been able to have my career if i hadn't had an abortion when i was younger yeah mm -hmm. that's yeah. that's pretty horrible yeah. i think and I, I think that's disgusting and terrible but on some level it's like it's more honest than what they continue to say right now which is, well, if we don't have abortion bans, all of these women are going to die. And it's just a lie. No. It's not true. They'll, they'll make these stories up. They'll fabricate information. They'll leave out all of the women who died from having abortions before Roe was overturned. But the center of the bullseye for them is, yeah, we want to just be able to discard with human life when it's not convenient for us. Also, a story that's framed to be that terrifying plays into the villain-esque role that they've created for Donald Trump in Four Republicans. So there was this meme going around. It was like Trump. Thanos. And, and I was like, I was like, look, this is the problem is you can't separate how you look at a Marvel villain because first of all, there's like endless interviews of, of lame movie producers and writers who are like, Oh, Donald Trump was the inspiration for this character or Elon Musk was the inspiration for this character. They can no longer separate rightly the difference between actual politicians who are trying to enact some type of governmental policy and weird Nazis and, cr and war criminals, right? Because they actually have framed the war criminals as the good guys because they're the part of the uniparty now. So it's it's plays into all of their deluded fantasies that there's this evil that they're trying to stamp out. Red Skull and Jordan Peterson. Yes, Red oh Skull my and Jordan gosh, Peterson. yeah. And Jordan Lobster. Peterson. That's Jordan Peterson is again, he's very, very mild. Like he's he's not Nazi even full blown Nazi. You know, you never heard Jordan <laughs> Peterson speak. It's I mean, a total Nazi. It's, that guy. He's such a a mild mannered. You know, he a, a Canadian, so right off yeah, the bat, he's extremely mild. polite. Yeah. You know, he's not going to be an aggressive dude. He never was. The only thing that he that the only reason people know who he is is because he was like, I'm not going to say those words. Yeah, also, so Elon Musk. It's what they've done to Elon Musk as well. Yeah. Um, what's really funny is there was an interview with Robert Downey Jr. who talked about Elon Musk cosplaying as Tony Stark. I'm like, no, you're cosplaying as Tony Stark. <laughs> Elon Musk is actually Tony Stark. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, he's That's hilarious. actually making rocks. Yeah. But it just goes to show, as I mentioned earlier, even Ike Eisenhower, and I'm sure people before him were, were compared to Hitler or compared to the Nazis. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you look at Jordan Peterson as if, as if he's out there like, oh, I'm just asking questions about like racial superiority, man. I'm just curious. Like, <laughs> clean your damn room. I mean, the Nazis did, they were tidy. 
Yeah, you but know? what he points out... It was Hugo Boss, I thought. <laughs> well, that's the thing. Actually, Jordan Peterson's room is very messy, so maybe he couldn't be a Nazi. Right, yeah, right. Nazis no. all about being tidy. He just couldn't but keep th it together. This is the other thing that they'll do, is they'll, they'll take things that were normal in every culture throughout all of history. So, like, get, just make some insane thing up. Just someone, just make up an insane policy. Right now. Uh, if you don't clean your room, then you have to go to a re-education camp. All right. They, 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 like, let's just say the left proposed that for whatever reason. And then someone was like, well, I'm against that policy. The, you know what You know what other country didn't have that policy? Nazi Germany. <laughs> or like you're, Nazi Germany. You're, they will just, they'll, they'll try to bring everything back well, to that's that. It's like saying like, oh, Trump held a rally at Madison Square Garden. You oh know what else God. happened at Madison Square uh, Garden? A WWE event. Nope, Nazis. <laughs> yeah, well, they'll, they'll be like, did you know that like transgender wasn't accepted in Nazi Germany. It wasn't accepted anywhere for all of history. It wasn't accepted in the USSR. It was never accepted anywhere until five minutes ago when you started forcing it. You have to like them. it and you have to hook up with them whether you yeah. like it or not. Thanks for checking out this clip from Timcast IRL. Make sure to watch the show live Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. Subscribe to this channel and we will see you all there.